Hi, my name is Mark Weckl. I'm a postdoc with the Center for Biodiversity and Conservation at the American Museum of Natural History. My name is Chris Nagy. I'm the director of research at the Mianus River Gorge, which is a nature preserve. And today we're here in the West Bronx to study some of the coyotes that live in New York City. The Gotham Coyote Project is a name that we've given to our study of New York City's coyotes. And it's basically a, a group of institutions together working to figure out where there are coyotes, um, their ecology, and at the same time exposing young, mostly high school students to the research of coyotes. Um, and Gotham Coyote pretty much right now consists of Mayans River Gorge Preserve and, and also researchers at the American Museum of Natural History. Most of our photographs of coyotes happen during uh, dawn or dusk and at night. We get very, very few photographs during the day, which is a really good thing for people to know. I say the only times we get a lot of daytime photographs is we're lucky enough to stumble upon a rendezvous site. This is a site where the pups are left for the day while mom and dad are out hunting. And we've been lucky enough to actually see play activity during the middle of the day. And these are the most remote sections of our parks, so this is nowhere near where people would be. These are obviously safe areas for mom and dad to leave the coyote alone. So when setting up the cameras, we have to figure out how many each park should get. And it's really based on size. The larger the park, the more cameras. So that we can say that we are certain that we covered enough, such that if we don't get a coyote, it's not because of lack of effort. It's that truly it, it's not there. So our camera traps are still camera. They give a near video kind of experience. Um, as soon as it's triggered, the camera will take five shots in a row. And as long as the animal's still there to trigger the camera, it will keep going. So you kind of have this stop motion, claymation kind of looking thing, which is pretty neat. Most of the time with a carnivore, you kind of have it on a travel path. So the animal is walking by at a nice trot, such that you're, if you're lucky, you get one or two, three pictures at most. The interesting thing about coyotes in a city, any city, New York City in particular, is the question you get from the public. The first thing almost all the time is like, well, that must not be natural. What's happening in its, in its, its home habitat? Are they getting pushed out? And I think that's an exciting opportunity to start a conversation with people. Coyotes are actually doing quite well in a lot of areas. So just to the north of us is Westchester County, where they're doing quite well. They're moving into the city not because they're being pushed out of habitat that's being destroyed. They're moving into the city because they are increasingly becoming adapted to our environment. Yeah, coyotes have a number of traits that can help them in a new environment, and specifically an uh, urban or developed environment. Um, they can eat lots of different things. They're very smart, so to some degree they're willing to try new things. But at the same time, they learn very quickly when something's a bad idea. Yeah, I think the coyote is a conservation success story, with, where there wasn't much of a conservation plan. It basically has responded to us by increasing the habitats it can make a living in. And one of those is cities. And I think that's a fantastic opportunity to learn how the coyote can do that, but also to challenge our human's way of looking at what, what is natural and what is nature. Because if there's a coyote, which we think of as being a symbol of the West, in New York City, makes you wonder what does that mean about looking at New York City.